yeah so my point is uh, learning ability is not the indication of a person's uh, personality or mm-hmm. interest or learning ability is just like any other ability you know so they, that mm-hmm. person have a better intelligence and some discipline and they know how to write the examination then maybe their reading comprehension skill is very good mm-hmm. their mathematical skill is good that is why mm-hmm. they are getting marks mm-hmm. many people uh, based on their learning ability they will choose career that is why they are very unhappy Mm-hmm. i will take an example uh, of dr sashi tarur okay mm-hmm. dr sashi tarur of course he was a very good student he got almost uh, uh, you know uh, full marks in all the subject one day mm-hmm. he was speaking like this uh, but he selected history from st stephen's college mm-hmm. uh, in graduation then his dad asked him what happened because all of your teachers are telling you are very good of I mean, your maths is good your science is good and i also I know that you are very good in science and maths then mm-hmm. why did you choose history not even economics yeah, yeah. that him sashi tarur told an answer that is the perfect uh, no uh, answer for a career selection he told that that i have the ability to study and i know how to write the examination and score marks mm. uh, but immediately after the examination i saw that all the physics chemistry mathematics and all have <laughs> but whatever um, i learned in history and literature it still remains and i have an insatiable curiosity to mm-hmm. know that more that is why I selected history, and he created history, and still he is creating right. history. Right. This is this is the right way of choosing a career. Mm-hmm. Many people will misunderstand that if they get some mark, that is an indication of their interest. No, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. mark mm-hmm. is an indication of a person's learning ability. Right. But see, again, um, you know, I always um, um, ad- advise students to follow the Riki guy. It's a Japanese system. Okay, so Riki guy. Mm-hmm. the mm-hmm, philosophy mm-hmm. says you have to know what you love to do mm-hmm. then you have to know whether you have the ability to do that okay what if i love to sing mm-hmm. but that doesn't mean that uh, i have the ability to sing yeah 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 got it so yeah, then yeah. then i'm going to be a disaster if i choose <laughs> singing as my career okay i have okay. to know what i love to do mm-hmm. then i have to know whether i have the ability to sing Mm-hmm. okay if mm-hmm. i don't have then you then you think what is next what do you love or do you have the ability mm-hmm. then maybe mm-hmm. i identified i can mentor people i can teach people i can counsel people i can motivate people yeah wow that is good then you right. think how can you add some value to after us with what you can do because mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. every work should have some value addition to the society or mm-hmm. to the to a particular individual some some value addition has to happen then only right. you can call it as a career right okay, so right. my career if mm-hmm. i am doing something that has got some value to others then mm-hmm. it is a perfect career that can be even a butcher can add value by right. providing better meat to people okay, anybody mm-hmm. can add value mm-hmm. so you have to identify what is the real value you are mm-hmm. going to add to the people mm-hmm. 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 then mm-hmm. Uh, the next question is how are you going to monetize it okay reasonably and legally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so once you identify mm-hmm. then that can be called as a somewhat good career path okay, okay so you know what you love to do uh, you mm-hmm. know whether you have the ability to do that and mm-hmm. you know how are you going to add some value to people or the society mm-hmm. then you know how to monetize it mm-hmm. uh, monetizing means it is a win win situation right. so both the, both the parties should be happy i should be happy about what i am getting and the other person the receiver should be happy about what what i am giving right what is, so then only that uh, there is a good karma you know because there is no karma balance in that mm-hmm. and you are you are providing you know what is good for him and mm-hmm. uh, everything is reasonable i am happy mm-hmm. you are happy mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that is the way one has to live but right. again again this is so difficult to identify that one career path right? because right. human beings have infinite potential and it, uh, sometimes if they identify something i i, I can tell you an example one day we have been giving a lot of um, you know interview training and uh, uh, mm-hmm. other attitude training for the iam call centers and we, we have wow. been running a, so, uh, running a career uh, running a cat training institute in chennai mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. time uh, one of the student who who got a call from iim ahmedabad mm-hmm. and our team identified that he is good for finance i see so it is all his personality his interest his aptitude and mm-hmm. uh, he really want to be a finance guy a financial yes, analyst so we mm-hmm. selected to take from finance as your major and you are going to excel in that mm-hmm. then he joined the college 
Mm-hmm. A second year, he started. He instead of finance, he took branding because the professor was so good. Oh, wow. Okay. The branding <laughs> professor. Uh, mm-hmm. He was from uh, no, uh, Carnegie Mellon, and uh, he got ah, okay. uh, um, mm-hmm. he got a uh, four out of five best outgoing student award from the campus. The mm-hmm. fifth one was uh, for the girls they were doing it. That's mm-hmm. a kind of a personal teaching brand that mm-hmm. his influence was so good, I and see. this guy happily took mm-hmm. branding. So th- these two examples, okay, one Shashita who identified that okay, he he is again he is not sticking on one single career. Mm-hmm. We cannot right. see. I I I took his example deliberately. Mm-hmm. We cannot call Taru a politician. He is a writer. Right. Also. He is a writer. Right. He is a writer. He is a statesman. He is an administrator. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. you know, he was he was proving us that he can do a lot of a human being can do a lot of things. Absolutely. Of the so only thing is, you should have certain discipline. You should have some goal orientation. You, I, we don't know what exactly is leading us. Mm-hmm. I think um, uh, then I have to go spiritual. You know, we every human being is. <laughs> blessed mm-hmm. with something you know? so that right. blessed is very important even right. if you are an atheist mm-hmm. you have to you have to accept that you are not blessed you are lucky and rich mm-hmm. either mm-hmm. you can take it as a blessing or you can take it as a luck or coincidence so that's another way to hear whatever yeah. it is maybe yeah. the natural selection you right. are good natural selection yeah. okay right. so your, all the faculties of your body and mind is good right then of course a human being is developed in two ways one mm-hmm. his nature N- nature and the nurture mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. course we are from the nature and we go back to nature right. there is a you to say that okay his nature is good and his nature is bad for mm-hmm. her nature is good but mm-hmm. we are from the nature so okay? we have okay. a nature mm-hmm. then you are nurtured okay mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so uh, as a career advisor i always give an advice okay maybe if you don't have something which is coming from the heart mm-hmm. you don't want to go behind it because someone okay. else is doing Yeah. Maybe see, take the example of writing a poetry. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even if I try hard, I cannot write a better poetry like Owen Wilson or um, you know Keats yeah. because it yeah. has to come from the heart. Right, 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 right. So even right. even if I am spending, mm-hmm. I know, uh, uh, many days to write a poem, mm-hmm. may not be possible. Maybe Correct. singing, I can learn a little bit, but I cannot sing like Keats or Owen Wilson. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Even even if we have. Our the the one one day M G Shrigma was telling the vocal cord of the human beings are same, but mm. the Sangadhi is coming out from the extremely <laughs> different. And I am worried about I am I am wondered about what is happening exactly. Okay, so correct, is, correct. So 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 I have I always try to understand a person scientifically, mm-hmm. psychologically, and spiritually. That spiritually, maybe he is blessed with something, and uh, we have mm-hmm. to identify what it is. Then um, see the thing is. even if you have a lot of ideas even if you have a lot of uh, you know intelligence knowledge money mm-hmm. power an excellent mark to do anything mm-hmm. you won't do anything if you don't have achievement motivation you are another yeah. psychological thing you understand mm-hmm. that okay. mm-hmm. you may be living in california with a green card with all the blessings around mm-hmm. uh, with a super market to play with and the friends to help everything is there But what happens if you lack a human motivation and uh, you somehow feel that I'm content, I don't want to do anything? Oh yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me sit and meditate. Okay. <laughs> so it's all about your attitude. It's all about your yeah. attitude. Right. So right. attitude and human motivation. Mm-hmm. That is all I call that maybe the divine content that we know. We don't mm-hmm. know. Some people. Mm-hmm. It is not the skill alone. It is not the mm-hmm. talent alone. Mm-hmm. It is a person's uh, achievement motivation. Achievement motivation is everything. Achieve mm-hmm. and motivation and growth mindset. Mm-hmm. We create mm-hmm. an individual. Okay, so I used to say the example of Emma Yusuf Ali all the time when I take sessions. Mm-hmm. Um, see, if we start a training, if we start a shop, mm-hmm. we may be thinking about starting another supermarket in some yeah. area. Yeah. But he was yeah. thinking like we have to start something bigger than Walmart. Correct. Maybe. Correct. Correct. That, yeah. that growth mindset actually made him, and the growth mm-hmm. mindset emotionally. Mm-hmm. Uh, human beings are miracles, you know. So usually, mm-hmm. I call my training sessions a mm-hmm. meta-human. Meta-human is the name I give to my training sessions. I see. You know okay. why I am giving that name? Because meta-human is. I strongly believe that uh, a human being can go beyond his capabilities, uh, mm-hmm. beyond the sense uh, uh, that we, if we if you tap the unleashed potential, then uh, just imagine if you are hitting a gym on every day. 
mm-hmm. on a regular basis mm-hmm. you are going to change your body right absolutely you're going to change yes. your body like anything mm-hmm. likewise if you are training yourself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you are training yourself to some art mm-hmm. if you are a great trainer mm-hmm. train yourself lot of training you train mm-hmm. yourself mm-hmm. then you are potentially unlimited Okay, so, uh, so that is why I call it meta-human. One, we are going to live in a meta-verse. Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. is, the meta-human is a beyond human. Mm-hmm. I think the, the Lord Shiva as a concept is mm-hmm. a meta-human. As a concept is meta-human. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think he traveled 108 ways of living. Mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. he is a lover, he is the most uh, beautiful lover. When mm-hmm. he is a fighter, he is the most ferocious fighter. When mm-hmm. he is a um you know meditator he is a very good meditator i don't know whether he shiva exists or not but the concept is beautiful concept, is, yeah know, exactly human, a human being can mm-hmm. you know go beyond his limits if he tries mm-hmm. himself because mm-hmm. we are sure that this is the most sophisticated computer the world have ever decided right because, right you know, right your capacity right. is unlimited okay right. i don't right. know whether i am speaking to the same direction of what you really want to hear No no yes you are i think uh, i i was just ment- t- taking a mental map of what you just told right if i kind of abstract what you just told the core element uh, which i got from that conversation was one is the value one should identify the value that and that's that's something i also kind of learned very recently like uh, you know as a soul we all are same but uh, as a person the value that you bring in in the marketplace that actually mm-hmm. differentiates you so the first thing is the value second thing i think you touched upon very very elegantly was the uh, attitude and you told the achievement uh, uh, aspiration is what you told which is basically an attitude right so my 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 follow up question on that would be uh, how can somebody really I, and and i think you have told very nicely a couple of examples right like you know i i may feel to sing i may love to sing but i may not be having that skill to sing right so how can somebody know that this is the value that i can bring in into the market and i will be enjoying that and um how can somebody really kind of test the water to understand okay this is the value that i can bring which actually brings all those monetization and and other stuff which you actually mentioned that is one one uh, question and the second question is similarly on the aptitude or a, uh, not aptitude attitude side is is an is this attitude something you, a person can build uh, and final question would be is there a system in place which somebody can actually follow um, maybe whatever you are actually providing as a as a coaching as such right is there any system that is actually available in uh, currently in the marketplace for somebody to build and understand the value as well as build their attitude as well uh, first and foremost you should have an attitude a positive attitude towards uh, you know doing something mm-hmm. there is a beginning okay so you ask that question the answer is there itself Mm-hmm. now you arrange this meeting because you are curious about something right we are not expecting that all the human beings will add some value to the society mm-hmm. i think uh, like the pareto theory says 80% of the people are very serious about themselves and the world and that is why there is some changes in this world <laughs> you don't expect that all the you know, 20% of the people not 80% yeah 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 20% yeah. 80% of the people they don't even um, uh, come to this kind of a conversation and uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, they want to struggle and live and there is a way yeah. they live and i don't yeah. know whether we can change them or not mm-hmm. but if they really want to do something then mm-hmm. they will find out ways mm-hmm. okay. know, so you have to search then you find out like okay. bible says and they will definitely find out mm-hmm. system of course training is the only way out because mm-hmm. when you felt that Uh, mm-hmm. you know product management is something very important you get trained in product management yeah. and you reach us and now you feel that you are good you are doing good okay so you identify the training identification by oneself is the most important thing I where i have to get a consulting from other see a professional mm-hmm. consultation can definitely change a human being absolutely there is absolutely no doubt about there is no yes. doubt about. yes yes there is yes. why there is a lot of importance for personal mentoring Mm-hmm, personal mm-hmm. mentoring means uh, the mentor you know to be the the, the, the smartest person on the earth mm-hmm. if somebody is there to follow you up there whether yep. you are doing you, you are answerable to somebody itself will change you because uh, mm-hmm. maybe the mentee is uh, much more smarter than the mentor but mm-hmm. still a mentor can add a lot of value to the mentee because uh, the mentee is responsible to report to the mentor 
and he right. is giving some kind of respect to that so this mentor mentee system will mm-hmm. definitely help a, help a person to grow you see mm-hmm. the, anybody with a growth mindset will try to find out meetings like this and they will read they will listen they will try to meet people get their opinion and then they listen all the opinion then they will do their own um shravana manana nididhyasana that is why mm-hmm. in the philosophy says they will they will listen they will interpret then they will come to inference and this will happen in the, right right, uh, this, right. unfortunately uh, uh, this kind of a system we have to uh, give to the majority then the then the world is going to be a much better place Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I I I used to say that I used to say that uh you have to know why nobel prizes are given to four areas one uh, peace 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 is very important for this world now we we really said peace is the most important because oh yeah oh yeah especially now. Yeah, especially yeah. now and so peace yeah. is very important And then we have to know that why literature is very important because literature mm-hmm. can build minds right you understand build minds right. it is we should have well formed minds than well informed minds that is very important mm-hmm. so information mm-hmm. is important this is not my dialogue this is shashi tarur's dialogue okay, okay. okay. i have got it from him he used to say that we need well formed minds uh-huh. before and well info well informed. information is important but before that you should be well yeah. formed so that yeah. Yeah. the culture and civilization will come through better literature only. that is why nobel mm-hmm. is given to literature mm-hmm. then of course Uh, science is most important for the human development and that is why mm-hmm. they are given uh, pure science physics chemistry and mm-hmm. biological science and uh, uh, health science mm-hmm. then economics finance is very important so mm-hmm. you see th- these four things are very important for every human being to learn they have to know how the science is working mm-hmm. they have to know the importance of being peaceful Mm-hmm. they have to know the importance of uh, reading something good mm-hmm. and they have to know you know managing the finances very well mm-hmm. one day i was reading obama and he mm-hmm. rightly said that an administrator's um, you know most important responsibility to ensure that the air is pure the water is good and mm-hmm. food is good mm-hmm. and uh, the environment is good and when the people retire they have mm-hmm. to retire with some dignity yeah <laughs> and it is so simple and profound everything right. is there yeah. as an administrator right. we have to ensure only this much Correct. good good air good mm-hmm. water good food good. and retire with dignity right right right, right. Okay. right. so, so yes. that is that is something we have to ensure mm-hmm. i think uh, this is possible only through a lot of uh, being an indian from india i strongly believe that india needs a lot of teachers training Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Teach us pray because mm. India is land for, you uh, know, seventy crore Gen Z population. Hmm. Yeah, that's a big one coming. Yes. India mm. is home for twenty percent of the world population. Mm-hmm. When India have only two point four percent of the world geography, mm-hmm. and uh, then we are home for twenty percent of the population. there is way when somebody saying that okay indian indian kids are moving away from india i'm so happy it is a natural thing to happen <laughs> because, because we cannot we cannot hold all of them here right? because yeah. world need people yeah. and india is the great producer of you know young right. generation right. right so what is what i think is um the current system of education is not suitable to mm-hmm. teach this gen c population and their aspirations because the old teachers uh there is again uh, there is a saying that india's uh, average age is 28 okay. whereas uh, india's parliament average age is 54 <laughs> okay so very old that's a big contrast are, this yeah. contrast this contrast is evident visible in everywhere yeah uh-huh. yes these people are creating policies for the young generation these yeah. people are creating and they don't know they, they really don't under, they think that the old system of education will help Mm. no see in india in kerala now the scenario is uh, mm-hmm. the pure sense bsc courses nobody is joining i see and kids started rejecting the education and still mm-hmm. the authorities are not understanding what actually is happening still they are having bsc yeah they are they are they are having bsc they are they are, they are trying to become professor and mm-hmm. the problem is uh, you are asking how can we give this kind of an idea to the majority is possible mm-hmm. only through teachers Mm-hmm. You understand? 
teaching they are the people connecting be, yeah yeah i think teaching should be the most reputed and the highly prized profession in any society yeah, yeah. because yeah. we have to bring the uh, bring the real thinkers and uh, you no know, uh, game changers in education that only it is possible i think uh, the environment and personality are two important things and uh, mm-hmm. personality any kind of personality can be developed a lot with the right environment so mm-hmm. it's a very big question you have to create an environment of scientific logical factual thinking and learning awesome. you have to awesome. yeah you you have to uh, you, know, you you have to give something here you know, so that you have to harvest something here you have to mm-hmm. plant something here right that is very important that is missing okay. now also there is a lot of religious education all the blah 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 nonsense and uh, <laughs> I, don't, i know we are we are appeasing all the religious groups and doing Mm-hmm. lot of nonsense around and uh, mm-hmm. people like us are silently angry I we see. cannot be openly angry because uh, then we will be <laughs> yeah <Okay>. they will <laughs> never right <laughs> we probably <laughs> silently angry that what is happening around yeah. so your question was how can we the, whether there is a system yes mm-hmm. the only system is professional consultation and mm-hmm. training yes, no other. awesome okay so one last question i think we are almost at the our uh, one last question if somebody want to reach out to you sir for any of this guidance uh, for somebody who is actually listening to this or you know whichever content i produce um, how can somebody reach out to you is there any uh, website or anything that that people can reach out I to you think, uh, i think if somebody google search pravin sk they will find me pravin okay. sk and that can okay. give my number also and okay. i'm happy to give you my number my number is also open there Okay. okay so 902005 7050 okay awesome awesome yeah. so everyone is okay anybody can google search and find me out got it got it okay yeah. okay so it was very 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 insightful and I, i i i don't want to stop this conversation but unfortunately i am up the time and of the area i am very 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 passionate about is uh, teaching right how can how can i uh, uh, with whatever knowledge i have acquired over a period of 18 plus years how can i provide it back to this uh, uh, people the society and then they also kind of help uh, uh, and i, I think uh, the picking the right job and right career that because you you know one third of of our day is actually spent in in our minimum one third it's always more than that so picking a right career is something very very important i feel for everybody out there and uh, once again as i mentioned earlier uh, to you uh, the kind of thing that you are actually doing and all people like you are doing i think uh, that that needs real real appreciation and i would really really thank for you i'll be connected with you um, and whenever i i have something to share with you i will I, i'm going to share with you uh, through whatsapp uh, or whichever medium possible um, yeah so thank you thank you for your time thank you so much i also enjoyed a lot and uh, you are always happy to come back and i'm i'm ready to help so whatever yeah. i know <laughs> sure sir sure sir okay. yeah, yeah. Thank so thanks thanks a lot for your time thank you